everyone, it's Claire here today with a new video for the Killing Kit series that I'm doing in collaboration with the Counterfeit Kit Challenge. Since I started on the series, one of the questions that I'm asked most often is how I deal with papers, cut apart sheets um, or embellishments that feature bright loud colours, patterns that are awkward to use, um, like photorealistic papers, um, or those crazy sheets that feature animals like zebras, horses, flamingos, llamas, that list is never ending. So today in this video, um, I'm actually using the leftovers from two kits, uh, my wild hair kits from August and September 2017, both of which had some papers or embellishments from the carousel collection by Maggie Holmes. The majority of the leftovers that I have in the first kit that you'll see um, are papers which fit into that kind of awkward category. While in the second kit that you'll see a little later in the video, I had some really usable embellishments like labels and stickers and die cuts um, that coordinated with that collection that I just haven't got around to using. So what I decided to do um, firstly was to make the papers more user friendly. I die cut them all down with the Heartboard Friday from Casual Friday Stamps. Um, it's one of my favourites and a little play with this die one rainy afternoon inspired this whole layout. You'll see that once the papers have been cut down, the smaller scale reduces the impact of the bold colours and patterns and everything basically is reduced to coordinating colours that are used throughout the collection. This makes it really easy to combine the papers with some of those usable elements, um, the embellishments like labels and stickers and things like that, that I've saved um, in the later kit. To reduce the impact of these bright colours a little more, I decided to make sure that the finished layout had lots of white space. So I left the base sheet white and used only the three larger sizes from the heart dies. I'll use the smaller two sizes another time. Within each heart, I tried to make sure that there was a mix of colours and patterns and that no two stacks next to each other were exactly the same. To fix each of the hearts to the layout, what I did first was score three lines from top to bottom, then stuck the outer hearts into place with my trusty glue stick, just making sure that they're all equally spaced across the layout. You'll see that I then uh, took out my trusty sewing machine uh, to add a straight stitch down each of the scored lines. What I do here is stitch through the centre of each of the larger hearts, adding the smaller hearts to the centre of each stack as I stitch. So basically, they're not adhered to the page with some glue. The only fixing that they have is this straight stitch through their center. This means that each of those central hearts within each stack can be lifted a little to add some dimension to the layout. With elements from the second kit, I added a layered section to the center of the layout. Um, there's some fun colors in there from the cutter parts and a little bit of sparkle from one of the gold glitter frames that was included in the original kit. I've taken some coordinating Maggie Holmes stickers out of my sash, some old, some new, and I think that some of them actually came with one of these kits too. Um, I'm adding some extra layers with those and some fun texture to that central part of the layout. And then finally, I'll add some gold glitter gems uh, from my own stash um, to tie it all together. I literally cannot finish anything without adding a couple of these little gems or some enamel dots. And that's it. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed the video today and that you'll subscribe for some more inspiration. Um, you can also join me over at the Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog um, or in their community if you've got any questions. I'll link to them in the box below. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time.